The same day went Jesus out of the house, and sat by the seaside. And great multitudes resorted unto him, so that he went into a ship, and sat down, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. Then he spake many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. And some fell upon stony ground, where they had not much earth, and anon they sprung up, because they had no depth of earth. And when the sun was up, they were parched, and for lack of rooting, withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up, and choked them. And some again fell in good ground, and brought forth fruit, one corn an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and another thirtyfold. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Then the disciples came, and said to him, Why speakest thou to them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing do not see, and hearing they hear not, neither understand. So in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which prophecy saith, by hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed fat, and their ears are dull of hearing, and with their eyes they have winked, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their hearts, and should return, that I might heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower, Whensoever any man heareth the word of that kingdom, and understandeth it not, that evil one cometh, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. And this is he which hath received the seed by the wayside. And he that received the seed in the stony ground is he which heareth the word, and incontinently with joy receiveth it, yet he hath no root in himself and endureth but a season. For as soon as tribulation or persecution cometh because of the word, by and by he is offended. And he that received the seed among thorns is he that heareth the word, but the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he is made unfruitful. But he that received the seed in the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit, and bringeth forth, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, there came his enemy, and sowed tares among the wheat, and went his way. And when the blade was sprung up, and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. Then came the servants of the householder, and said unto him, Master, sowest thou not good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? And he said unto them, Some envious man hath done this. Then the servants said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, 
lest while ye go about to gather the tares, ye pluck up also with them the wheat. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye first the tares, and bind them in sheaves to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Another parable he put forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a grain of mustard seed, which a man taketh and soweth in his field, which indeed is the least of all seeds. But when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs, and it is a tree, so that the birds of heaven come and build in the branches thereof. Another parable spake he to them. The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman taketh and hideth in three pecks of meal, till all be leavened. All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables, and without parables spake he not unto them, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables, and will utter the things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. Then sent Jesus the multitude away, and went into the house. And his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of that field. Then answered he, and said to them, He that soweth the good seed, is the Son of Man, and the field is the world, and the good seed are the children of the kingdom, and the tares are the children of that wicked one, and the enemy that soweth them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers be the angels. As then the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the just men shine as the sun in the kingdom of their Father. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in the field, which when a man hath found, he hideth it, and for joy thereof departeth, and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like to a merchant man that seeketh good pearls, who having found a pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had, and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a drawnet cast into the sea, that gathereth of all kinds of things, which when it is full, men draw to land, and sit, and gather the good into vessels, and cast the bad away. So shall it be, at the end of the world, the angels shall go forth, and sever the bad from among the just, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said unto them, Understand ye all these things? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then said he unto them, Therefore every scribe, which is taught unto the kingdom of heaven, is like unto an householder, which bringeth forth out of his treasure things both new and old. And it came to pass, that when Jesus had ended these parables, he departed thence, and came into his own country, and taught them in their synagogue, so that they were astonished, and said, Whence cometh this wisdom? and great works unto this man. Is not this the carpenter's son? 
Is not his mother called Mary, and his brethren James, and Joseph, and Simon, and Judas? And are not his sisters all with us? Whence then hath he all these things? And they were offended with him. Then Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country, and in his own house. And he did not many great works there, for their unbelief's sake.